CataractCoach.com, supracapsular phaco, a great technique for a softer lens nucleus. So I'm going to show you a routine case here from start to finish. Here's the very beginning. We're putting in some viscoelastic dispersive agent to protect the corneal endothelium. And the key in making a good supracapsular technique is you need to get the nucleus out of the capsular bag, hence the name supracapsular, above the capsule. So hold the eye still here using a diamond keratome to make a temporal incision on that steep axis. And now we'll make a sufficiently large capsular axis. Now you don't need an oversized capsular axis. We want just about a five millimeter capsular axis. We're using our forceps here that are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters. Those are the markings from the tip. And that allows us to really accurately judge that five millimeter capsular axis. Five to five and a half is my goal. We certainly don't want it very small. If it's a small four millimeter capsular axis, you'll have a tough time getting the lens out of the bag. Here's the key now. Super capsule technique means we're gonna use BSS to get a nice high dissection and prolapse the nucleus out of the bag, slow and steady. This is not a forceful technique. And once it's out of the bag, I'll use that cannula to help just dial the entire nucleus up. And there it is standing on its edge. You're looking at the lens equator, the equator of the nucleus. A little extra dispersive viscoelastic went in the eye. And for the FACO settings, we're gonna use a high flow 40 cc's a minute. We're gonna use a high vacuum, about four or 500 millimeters of mercury. And the key here is just to tumble the nucleus into the port. Now there are many different supercapsular techniques. This is more like the tilt and tumble technique described by Dick Lindstrom. We simply just keep the nucleus in front of the probe and a very light uh, amount of energy, mostly aspiration. The entire nucleus has gone very quickly. If it had a little bit more density, I'd be able to put a little bit of phaco power and chop it in that supercapsular position. So we've done tilt and chop in the past. This is just a complete supercapsular technique more akin to the tilt and tumble method, and just to remove the lens nucleus very quickly from the eye. We'll now go on to our cortex removal, and the rest of the case proceeds normally. I want to show you the end of the case with the eye well in the eye to show you that we do have that 5 millimeter axis, and it is overlapping the optic for 360 degrees to hold it securely in place. But this is a beautiful technique. If you're in a neighborhood, um, where your patients primarily have a softer lens nuclei. This is a great technique because it's very fast, very efficient, and very safe. We're away from the capsular bag with the phaco probe. As a result, there's a lower risk of having the phaco probe touch or damage the posterior capsule. You'll find that these softer lens nuclei are difficult to chop if you leave it in the capsular bag. In fact, even some divide and conquer techniques can be more challenging or stop and chop because the lens nucleus doesn't have a sufficient density to really propagate that crack throughout. Here we are putting a single piece acrylic lens in the capsular bag. We'll let that unfold. And as it unfolds, we'll see at the very end here, in fact, we have a beautiful five millimeter rexus that overlaps that six millimeter optic. So I encourage you to try a super capsule technique, especially if you have a patient with a softer lens nucleus, this is a natural technique for that type of case. We'll go in here underneath the eye well, remove the viscoelastic, and then I'll show you the final resting position of the eye well. Of course, with so little energy put in the eye, these patients have a very quick recovery of excellent vision. No corneal dim is expected. Now you are working in closer proximity to the corneal endothelial cells. So if you do have more of a density in the lens nucleus, you probably want to avoid doing an all super capsular technique. You want to stay within the capsular bag for a large portion of the phaco energy delivery. Here we are at the end sealing up the incisions, which looks great. And you can see there's the optic with a nice overlap 360 degrees. And you can see this surgery for to show from start to finish is highly efficient. Hope you try it out. Thanks for watching.